If you could address uh, Ohio State's offense, the way that they've really come along this year with the new quarterback and the concerns that you guys will have on that side of the ball. I just feel like they're trying each game they're trying to mesh and get, you know, some consistency going. They're building each game. Um, they do a really good job of like simplicity for the receivers and the quarterback's reads, but they do a lot of motion adjustments to get defenses off of what they're trying to do and get them out of their, uh, their get them into certain checks to manipulate them and get guys freed up like Marvin Harrison in the slot, a lot of guys in Buka, and they got some talented running backs. But you know, obviously, we got to do, do what we need to do to be able to take care of them. So. And expand on Marvin Harrison Jr. Just uh, memories, from, you know, what uh, you you recall from last year and what you guys have seen on tape and his growth since. You know, obviously his speed is increasing. Uh, his catch radius is crazy. He's very, you know, talented athlete. So we're gonna have to do a big job of knowing where 18 is all the time and just be able to uh, give confidence to our corners or whoever's over there covering him. On the road, especially in a place you know like Ohio State that has you know over 100,000 fans there, as a safety, I know that group along with the linebackers are often you know a lot of calls on defense. Um, how do you adjust with crowd noise on the road? Um, it's the same as every every game. You know, you're not gonna be able to hear anything. You could be like five feet away from them, you can't hear. Them, so you have to do a lot of hand signals and just. A lot of the like communication gets done on the sideline and throughout the week, so it's like you have to rely on you know everybody knowing what they're doing throughout the week. So they're like, okay, so we're, there's not going to be a lot of communication, but you're going to have to have some when you're out there. But a lot of time, the noise you just have to have hand signals for those. Hey, Dante, what's the balance of, as Box talks about, kind of the nameless and, and faceless opponents, but also n knowing that this is, you know, one of the top teams that you're going up against and someone you're probably measuring yourself against? It just, I mean, him saying that is so we don't get too high or too low, you know what I'm saying? Like, over the years, it's always like, oh, we got O-State coming up, or we got the big three, they say, Michigan, Penn State. So there's no anxiety or anything like that. It's like we're not going to change anything that we're doing just because we're playing the Blue Bloods of you know college football. But obviously, knowing the big challenge we got ahead of us, that, that balance is coming to court. Like, so people need to be locked in. But um, he just keeps us grounded by saying that statement. What do you tell like younger guy or you know just what kind of vibe do you get from you know maybe younger guys who are trying to make that bounce when you've kind of been through it before? So you kind of I kind of mess with him. I'm like, how are you gonna do when you see a hundred? K fans, you know, eyes gonna get big, and I was messing with them a little bit. But I just like to stay in a moment. Um, you know, you're blessed to be there. Um, that's about it. But you know, players gotta play. You gotta be ready to go. Young, old, but you get on that field, you better be ready to go. What do they say when you do that? They laugh. They just laugh. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be ready. But that's every freshman or younger player would say. So. You guys have been great against. Uh, you guys have been great at about Jesus. You've been great at forcing turnovers this year. What's been the key to that, and how can you, how can you continue it against Ohio State? I mean, just emphasizing it throughout the week. Um, turnovers are big for you know obviously the offense because when you get turnovers for the offense, they score a lot. Um, but there's not anything that you can do other than your job just to get turnovers. This is like it just swings that way. Like last year, we struggled with turnovers, but that doesn't mean we weren't trying to get turnovers. Like, oh, we, you know, coach emphasizes get turnovers. Like, coach, I'm trying to get turnovers, but you know, some, you know, we just got a little more luck on this draw. But going into this game, some turnovers are going to be uh, needed to you know, obviously give our offense more time to get the ball because it's going to be a little possession battle this game. So we need to enforce uh, takeaways this week. Hey, Dante. So. so Locks talked about the biggest difference between this year's team and years past has really been that player-driven leadership. To what extent have you noticed that? From off-season training, the way we um, coach a lot of things up, you know, when I came in my freshman year, you couldn't say anything to anybody without them getting personal or anything. You know, there was just like a little hierarchy of like, you know, accountability wasn't horizontal. And we kind of preached that over this year. So going into off season training, make sure everybody is on time, wearing the right things, being able to coach some stuff, have them tough conversation, and even, you know, having those arguments to so it'll prepare you for the season, you know, it's like you ain't finished and you ain't doing this and it may, you know, rile up everybody. But as we built from the off season to now, we're able to, you know, have that family camaraderie is like we went through a lot, we went through the storm and now I can trust you. I know the type of guy you are and we had these hard conversations. So now like 
coaches don't even have to say anything. Like players can get on players without it blowing up or having fights. So we handle a lot of stuff on our own. Having faced Stroud last year as Ohio State's quarterback and then McCord this year, um, just from what you've seen on tape so far, how do those two compare? How are you looking forward to that challenge? I mean, how they compare? I mean, they both played Ohio State. But um, a little different in terms of, like, I would say experience. Obviously, you know, Stroud was well developed by the time we, we played him. And he was, you know, <laughs> a really tough challenge. You had to do a lot of things to get him off of his tracks. but. Um, you know, this quarterback we're going to be facing, you know, he has a lot of potential. He's, he can make the reads. He knows that he knows a receiver. So, but I wouldn't say, you know, they're nothing crazy different, but obviously they just play quarterback at Ohio State. Dante, concerning the opponent, the records going into this game, the stage of where you guys are, is this a game a litmus test for this program? You say that again? Sorry. Is this game a litmus test for this program? <sighs> mm. I mean, I don't, I don't want to get too like you know big on that but I just feel like this is the next this next game for us um, you know both undefeated for us this will be a big challenge but um, I don't want to put this game too bigger on the other ones we always say this is the biggest one because it's the next one but that's all I'll say on that